Hey everyone, Dr. Frunky here with a really special unboxing video. Uh, we're going to be opening the Shirogorov Sigma today, but before we open the box, I wanted to give a little backstory. This is my Shirogorov F3. This is their uh, liner lock flipper model. This one is in Vanax 35 steel with single row bearings. And uh, I did a little surgery on it recently where I put these beautiful copper dust carbon fiber scales on them from my buddy Valera over at Department 13 Knives. He also sold me this titanium backspacer and uh, it has made this knife spectacular. I've been carrying this knife a whole lot and I absolutely love the blade for its full flat grind and usability. I love the Vanax steel and just Shirogorov has blown me away with its quality here. I purchased this knife initially because I saw that Recon One, the United States distributor for Shirogorov knives, was having a lottery for a limited production called the Sigma. I entered that lottery and then didn't hear anything for a little while, so I assumed that I had lost, and so I purchased this knife to sort of hold me over until I heard more about it, and I have been in love with it ever since. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away, but a couple of days ago, I got an email from Recon One, and they said, congratulations, you have been selected in the lottery. Now you can pay us $1,300 to buy the Sigma. And so definitely I did that. Recently, I've sold a few of my knives because I had a feeling that something like this was gonna come up. So I immediately purchased the knife, and let's go ahead and open it up. What you'll see on the exterior is the Shirogorov Bear logo and the CDs logo for the Sienkiewicz design uh, collaboration there. That's all you'll see on the box. The knife comes wrapped in the Shirogorov black microfiber cloth, and here it is right here. We're gonna set this to the side and see what else comes in the box. Here's the certificate of authenticity. Uh, Sigma with carbon fiber, a titanium handle, really that's a lock. M390 blade steel, multi-row bearing, signed by Dimitri and Sergei themselves with a 148 out of 200 numbered uh, sequence right there and some Russian material that I can't read at all. So that is the unboxing portion right there. Let's take a look at the knife itself. The Shirogorov Sigma, a limited production run of an M390 blade and a carbon fiber handle. This is similar uh, to a recent model called the Jeans, where this is not a custom division knife, but rather a limited run, but very special sort of production level knife. 200 of these knives were made worldwide, 100 of them were sent to Recon One, and they offered them for sale through a lottery, so 100 people got a great email this week, and then a bunch of us probably received this knife today. This is January the 5th of 2018. So let's go ahead and break this knife down objectively and see what we have in front of us. So up front is a very impressive 4.1 inch blade all the way back to the handle. And the way that the blade curves, it actually curves underneath the handle. So you get a full 4.1 inches of cutting length uh, right there. It's M390 steel, unbelievable. Back to the pivot is about four and a half inches. Overall length is right at about 9.1 inches, just over nine inches, so a very big knife. So you have 4.1 inches of the blade, and then you have an exactly five inch handle. So you have a huge blade packed into this very regularly sized handle. It's a much more uh, efficient size comparison, uh, size uh, use than the F3 even. The F3 also has a five inch handle, but only a four inch blade. Well, I have that knife out here for a size comparison. Let's bring out a couple more. Here's a Spyderco Paramilitary 2 as a size reference right there. So you can see this is not a small knife. This is definitely a full-size knife. Here is the Spyderco Manix 2 right here. How about we bring out another big knife in the ZT0920. And then one more relatively common size comparison right here is going to be the large Chris Reeves in Chris Reeve knives in Kosi. So even though I brought out some of these pretty big knives, this one is considerably bigger. But I think that this is what's really going to blow everyone away. With this carbon fiber construction with no liners, this thing comes in at 3.09 ounces. Unbelievably light for a knife of this size. All of the other knives that I showed you were at a minimum of 4 ounces, most of them 4.5 to 5.5 ounces. The width on this knife is about 543 thousandths, and then the blade stock is coming in at 148 thousandths, let's see, maybe 152 thousandths right there all the way back 
uh, to the back of the blade. So a nice robust blade stock in uh, a nice form right here. So let's break it down anatomically and see what we're working with. Up front is that huge 4.1 inch blade of M390 steel. Now just look at the way that they finished that blade. It's almost like it was mirror polished and then they gave it some sort of media blast and it is spectacularly beautiful. Now my F3 has a similar finish but it's a much more coarse finish and it's not quite as reflective. Now it's very nice and it hides wear very well. I love the finish on that, but this is taken to another level of, of beauty right here. And it's very nice, it's almost reflective. You can almost see your reflection in it. Up front uh, is the Shirogorov Bear logo. On the back is rather tastefully done, Sinkevich design logo right there. I don't really have much to argue with on that. The blade shape is a bit peculiar. It immediately reminded me of the Spyderco Spidey Chef, which is actually a very good thing. That's a very functional blade shape for any kind of EDC task. This is not the most beautiful blade in the world, but it is certainly going to be extremely functional, which is what I've come to love about my F3. It is so functional and so good, and the full flat grind here is absolutely incredible. Something else that I've noticed is that the edge itself is practically mirror polished. Ooh, that was a little face reveal right there. Uh, there is a practically mirror polished edge on this knife, and it is incredibly sharp. Absolutely spectacular. Something else that I think is really cool is that they designate that it's MRBS or multi row bearing system, and then they designate M390 steel on the inside of the pivot system right there. That's very cool to me. Moving back, and speaking of the pivot, is this very uniquely designed pivot hardware right here. Very beautiful blue anodization done uh, in a sort of a square like pattern around the circular pivot. And then it has a proprietary screw right there. Now I look to see if I could buy this bit online. It doesn't look like it's readily available. If anyone knows where to pick up a bit for that, let me know. This runs on a multi-row ceramic bearing system and it's straight out of the box. You saw that, it's unbelievably smooth. Just absolutely flies open and absolutely drops shut like a guillotine. This is Shirogorov smooth at its most perfect. Now probably the most impressive thing on this knife is the flipper tab. Look how tiny that thing is. They really hid that very well and Shirogorov does a nice job of chamfering out a little groove for the index finger when flipping. So you can actually get more leverage than you think from that small tab because your finger continues to travel a little bit into the handle as you push on it and it actually functions beautifully. So this is a very elegant solution, a very low profile flipper tab that even Nick Shabazz is gonna be happy about. So very, very beautiful knife, uh, very, very beautiful flipper right there. And it works nicely, either in a flip, in a uh, light switch like that, or even in a push button mechanism, it works very nicely, very smooth action. Now let's talk about these beautifully done handles. This is a 3D milled piece of carbon fiber that has a very, very characteristic uh, Sinkovich style uh, milling pattern going on. If you can see all of the fine lines that are milled into the carbon fiber, and each one of those lines is a very unique pattern. If you follow them, none of them, no two are the same, no two follow the exact same curvature. That must have taken a significant amount of time and effort to really plan out how that looks. It looks like a flowing river and it feels very comfortable in the hand. It gives you some grip on what would otherwise be a rather slick surface. It's very, very nice. The backspacer is done in a blue anodized titanium. Uh, it is a geared pattern. Look at how the uh, backspacer extends out a little bit right there. You have an integrated lanyard hole on the back of the knife right here. Let's see if I can get it to focus on that. That's a very characteristic Shirogorov feature. Now let's take a look at the lock. This is an inset titanium frame lock arm that's press fit into the carbon fiber right there. There's no hardware that I can see. Uh, it looks like it's secured in place. I'm not gonna be able to do a takedown video, but I'll get maybe another chance to show you more detailed inside of what's going on here. Uh, there's a ceramic detent ball and there is a steel insert on the titanium bar. So not only is it a titanium bar, 
It's got a steel insert and then it's just press fit into carbon fiber. So a lot of technology went into making that. This is an absolutely beautiful knife that I'm looking forward to carrying. It's so lightweight and so functional and so nice. I can't wait to get it in the pocket and use it a whole lot and bring you guys a final diagnosis video. What do you guys think of the Shirogorov Sigma? I'm going to put a whole bunch of pictures up of it on my Instagram. Thank you guys for watching my videos here. Click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Head over to Instagram and check me out there at Dr. Frunky. And as always, guys, this is Dr. Frunky saying take care.